probability distribution. This first question is one that uh, does not involve the binomial probability distribution, but it does involve a probability distribution. And um, the thing that this uh, question uh, raises, the question that it raises, um, first of all, they, they say that it's uh, the probability of um, in in a group of 14 newborn babies, uh, the number of girls selected, in other words, that you choose randomly 14 newborn babies and the number of girls uh, being zero, the likelihood of that happening is zero. The probability of one happening is 0 0.001, which is uh, one-tenth of 1% of two is six tenths of 1% and so forth for all of those probabilities. And, and this is a, a symmetric uh, probability distribution because if you notice probability of no girls on the 14 uh, of, you know, selecting 14 having no girls is zero. The probability of selecting 14 and having all 14 be girls is also zero. And then of having 13 is 01 and 06 and 022, et cetera. Um, and you can see that the symmetry about this symmetry, meaning everything that's on one side is kind of reflected on the other side. So the question here is, what is the probability of at least nine girls? And uh, I'm going to flip over to the PDF uh, on this. Uh, because what we would like to uh, talk about here is what is, uh, you know, what, the, well, the, the words at least and at most, um, and uh, what those words mean. Um, and at least means, uh, and here we're looking at uh, at least nine girls, uh, means nine or more. Uh, 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 or 13. So, uh, and again, um, I, I don't expect you to memorize anything in this course, but uh, this is important to know the difference between at least and at most so that um, you might make a note of this somewhere in your notes. Um, by the way, at most, which is uh, the kind of uh, partner phrase, if you will, to at least means, well, not the opposite of, but it means that we'd be looking at that much or less. So if, it, if the question had been at most nine girls, it would have been nine girls or fewer. And uh, so what we do here is, uh, well, one way to do it, what we're going to do is uh, add the probabilities of 9 through 14. And um, a way to do that using the TI-83, and here we have, or TI-84, is to uh, turn it on and uh, go to a list, put the probabilities into a list. I'm not going to do that here because I'm showing the picture over here. Uh, put the probabilities into a list, and then to find the uh, sum of these probabilities using a calculator in a nice way. This is nice uh, to uh, be able to find the sum of the numbers of a bunch of numbers using the TI-83, as opposed to um, using the home screen and uh, typing in the the numbers, uh, because it gets to be kind of a long uh input and not very clear. But uh, once you've got the numbers in a list like this, then what you want to do next is go to the list button. And that's what I've uh, kind of outlined here is the list button. Uh, so here we have the list button over the stat key. So second function list. And then we want to go to the math menu. So here we have list math. Uh, so going to the math menu, we can just go to the left once and that brings us here. And then sum 
uh, is what we want. We want to sum up a list. So we'd go to sum and then we put in the name of the list. In this case, it was list one. And we have our sum of the probabilities, um, which is the probability of having at least nine girls out of 14 being, um, I just said that backwards, the probability of out of 14 randomly selected uh, children having it be at least uh, nine, nine girls. So um, going back to our problem here, the one that um, is the correct choice is here. And we check that and that's good. 